Today I'm going to go over how you can stack all the odds in your favor to lose weight consistently month after month and get a flat stomach. If you're someone that feels like all the odds are stacked against you right now, I would highly recommend for you to watch this video in full so you can stack the odds in your favor instead. So the first thing would be to make yourself a top priority. Whatever your name is, say your name and then put in your desired outcome for your desired body type for what you want to accomplish for your future self. So if you have an instance where a temptation comes up and your family's just bringing over all this junk food, all these cakes, cookies, ice cream, etc., just junk food, and they offer you all that junk food, put it all on a plate and give it to you, for example. In that scenario, you want to ask yourself, what would future John do with desired outcome, with a flat stomach, with a six pack, with all my stubborn belly fat gone, with a low body fat percentage, with plenty of muscle, with my ultimate body, with a fully optimized health. Whatever your ultimate dream body is and your ultimate desired result, your desired goal, insert that after your name for your future self. And it's gonna be so much more difficult for you to not put yourself at the top of the priority list or really your future self at the top of the priority list whenever you are having temptations flood into you like that, right? You may have to have a couple uncomfortable conversations, but if you continue to fight for your future self and draw that line in the sand and draw in that boundary to where nobody can cross it, then you're really gonna be putting yourself in a great position to lose weight sustainably and consistently. So number two, make time instead of finding time. So many of you guys are always trying to find time instead of actually creating it. This is a huge, huge issue for my client, Joe, who was working 60 to 80 hours a week, working crazy hours. And the moment we gave him some structure, some additional accountability, and found, really found times for him to plug in workouts so he can consistently knock him out and get a big boost in his metabolic rate so he can lose more weight, he lost 20 pounds within his first month. And those two pictures right there are just two weeks apart, and he has been struggling for years to lose his stubborn belly fat and to keep it off with a plan that's actually sustainable, effective, and enjoyable. If you would like me to customize a plan that is made just for you so you can do just that, I highly recommend for you to click the first link on the top of the video description to speak with me directly. So number three, you use money the wrong way. And I know you guys are probably thinking, man, why is he talking about money? This doesn't really pertain to weight loss, fitness, et cetera, but it really does. If you really think about what you spend your money on, that's where your energy and attention is going to. If you're spending all your money on garbage food, spending all your money on eating out at restaurants, miscellaneous crap that's just useless, that doesn't even serve you at all whatsoever. If you really budget that down and really look at your finances, you can see that you're directing a lot of your attention, your energy, the wrong way, in a way that's not working for you if you're spending your money on the wrong things, right? And this would be a great opportunity for you to allocate that money into things that actually benefit you, eating healthier food, a gym membership, et cetera. Things are actually going to serve you well. And if you use that same question from before, what would future John do if he wanted a flat stomach or whatever it may be, then you're gonna do it. Because you, if you truly care, if you have the desire to actually change, you will do it. Now, if you don't have the desire to change at all whatsoever and you're just looking for a quick fix, then I highly recommend for you to click off this video. Everyone that I've worked with just needed a sustainable approach that was going to work for their busy lifestyle so they can lose their stubborn belly fat and get a flat stomach with the additional accountability and structure that they needed. This was true for Dion especially, who lost 12 pounds within his first month. And he has tried so many fad diets and unsustainable regimens that did not work at all whatsoever. And same was true for Michael too. He lost roughly 17 pounds within his first month working with me directly. And he was working full-time as a teacher as well. And the moment we plugged in some additional accountability, he was able to lose a ridiculous amount of weight within a short period of time. And he's certified in nutrition, right? He already had a really good understanding of what he should be doing. He just needed the accountability to do it. So once these guys actually invested into the program to lose the weight that they have been struggling to lose for a long time, they really paid attention. So when you pay, you pay attention. If you're spending money on things that don't serve you well at all whatsoever, you're directing your, your energy and your attention to that, you're gonna get a negative outcome. And then of course, the inverse, the opposite is true if you direct your energy and attention to things that serve you well and you spend your money on yourself and not on useless crap. So number four, 
embrace the fear of failure and use that to drive you. A lot of you guys are afraid to fail, right? And that's an odd that is stacked against you because now you're not channeling that fear to go out and do what you know you have to do even though you don't wanna do it anyway. You're using that fear to work against you, right? And you, I really can't blame many of you guys that have tried counting calories, caloric deficits, caloric restriction, counting macros, etc. all these unsustainable fad diets that don't work and don't address the root cause of the problem. But if you look at everyone around you, especially the guys I've mentioned already that have a flat stomach and have lost weight consistently, it is possible. And you just have to find the right solution that actually works for your busy lifestyle. And it's nothing to be afraid of. You know, there's nothing that is going to feel better than you getting to your desired outcome and getting to your desired destination once you actually have lost all your belly fat and you're down to your goal weight and you have a body that you really, really love. That's something that should motivate you rather than the fear of failure of trying something new even though you're unsure of how it will actually work. And if that's you, you feel like you don't know if a hormonal-based approach is actually gonna be able to you know, really work for your busy lifestyle and for you in general, I highly recommend for you to click the video on the main channel, on my channel here is my main video that goes over a hormonal-based approach and exactly how it works and how it can work specifically for you and your busy lifestyle so you can drop weight month after month and get a flat stomach. So number five, this is gonna be really, really important to stack literally all the odds in your favor. If you don't do this, almost everything else means nothing because you're gonna be getting hit with temptation after temptation with literally no solution at all whatsoever. You have to get everybody on your side. You have to get your wife on your side, your brother on your side, your kids at your side, any immediate family at your side, your friends, everybody needs to be on your side for future John, future James, whoever it is. Because if they're not on your side, then you're constantly gonna have to deal with all these barriers and obstacles that are gonna be super frustrating to deal with. And you have to surround yourself with people that are on the same mission as you, right? Of course, your family's your family, you know? You're gonna have to surround yourselves with them, obviously. So it's gonna be really important for you to have those uncomfortable conversations with your wife and with your kids to get them on board into investing into healthier food into getting healthier food into the pantry, eliminating binge foods, saying no to eating ice cream after dinner, whatever it may be. Those are lines that you guys have to draw in the sand. You know, you're a role model for your family, for your wife and your kids. And if you make healthier decisions for yourself and you make uncomfortable changes, they will notice that and they will respect that. There may be an instance in the beginning where they may not respect it and they want you to just go back to the old behavior, old John, and eat whatever you want and make bad decisions along with them so they can validate that bad behavior themselves. But when you truly understand that that's what they're trying to do, you won't do it with them again. You'll do the exact opposite. You direct your attention and your energy to things that are going to benefit you and your family. Your family will ultimately begin to respect you and they will want to follow through with you. But in order to get there, you have to get them on your side first and have some uncomfortable conversations. Draw the line in the sand, put your foot down, and let them know that this is time, this is the time now for future John, future James, future Derek, and for the future of not only yourself, but for everybody around you in your family and your friends as well. And of course with friends, they're not like your family. If they're really good friends, they will understand that you are making changes and that you're gonna be following a healthier lifestyle, they will respect that if they are a good friend. If they're not, they probably won't, even if you draw that line in the sand, you draw that boundary, they may not respect it, right? Even if you do, they'll still push you to drink. That means they don't necessarily care about your ability to lose weight and your mission that you're on to get to your desired destination. And if that's the case, as, un as uncomfortable as it may seem, if you can't have enough uncomfortable conversations to get really get that person to be on your side, then you should probably cut them off. So I really just wanted to give you guys every solution possible to put all the odds in your favor because a lot of you guys will feel like the odds aren't in your favor at all whatsoever and you can't control them when really you can. You just need an action plan in order to do it. 